Okay, so we have this cross from our last video. Now, what I do next is I will what's called permute the corners, meaning I will put the corners in the correct spot that they need to be in. So, what you want to look for is you want to look for any corner that's in the right position, it doesn't matter which which way it's flipped. In this case, we were lucky and all the corners are actually in the right place after we oh I'm sorry oh, I can't see anything okay I'm just kidding there are two corners at a time that will be in place you have this corner and this corner but then when you turn like that you have this corner and this corner this is a pretty um, advanced case for the corners I will show you the most common um, where you have one corner in place and you have the other three not in place. Um, and now, and I believe in this case, yeah, like you can also have where two corners are in place uh, on the side and these two corners are not in place you want to get it so that only one corner is in its right spot and everywhere all the other three corners are wrong or in the in the wrong spot now this is where you're going to learn your first set of movements um, now this I call this I will refer to this as a corner swap and the way you want to hold the puzzle is you want the correct corner in the top or the back left corner just like when you did the arrow now you're going to want to do this set of movements and these will switch these will move this piece here this piece here and this piece here and it will also flip them around but again we don't care about that so what you want to do to swip, swatch the, I'm sorry, swap these pieces is this set of movements bring your right down the right face clockwise bring your left down move the top face back move the right up move the top face clockwise then bring your left back up and then you move the top face back now these edges did switch but what happened was they were off by two swaps so we need to do that algorithm again to switch these pieces so here we have this green I'm sorry green red needs to go here the blue orange needs to go here and the green orange needs to go here so we'll do that same move again and again I want to make sure I want to emphasize that we need the soft corner in the back left of the puzzle and we do the same moves again right down top clockwise left down top counterclockwise right up top clockwise left up top counterclockwise or back now you'll notice that we have this piece in place, this piece in place, this piece in place, and this piece in place. Now you can also come across this occasionally where you have, let's see, sorry about the jump, um, when you have two corners that are in place across from each other, like what happened when I first got to this point, I like to put one solved one in my top or my back left corner and so therefore the other one will be in my front right corner and then I do a corner swap again uh, for the first time so uh, what I do is again same algorithm right back or right down I'm sorry top clockwise left down top counterclockwise right up top clockwise left up top counterclockwise now I have two pieces solved here and two pieces that are unsolved here. Now the key here is to uh, you you can turn the cube any way, 190 degree turn either way and you'll have one corner solved. So I'm going to turn it to the right. Actually no, I'm going to turn it to the left because you already know this algorithm. When you turn it to the left you only have to do the corner swap one more time. So in this case th we're going to do the corner swap we have our green, red solved, and the top left. And again, this 
I want to emphasize this corner does not have to be oriented correctly, it just so happens that it is. Um, so we need this piece to go here, this piece to go here, and this piece to go here. So we'll do the corner swap. So right down, top clockwise, left down, top counterclockwise, right up, top clockwise, left up, top counterclockwise. Now we have all the corners solved in the right places. Okay, now we're going to switch to the edges. Now, generally you will have at, you have one edge solved in this case, usually. It is very rare that you get all of them solved in the right place or none of them solved. Um, and you can only get zero, one, or four solved in, at this point. So, um, there, this is the last of the algorithms that you need to know and I refer to this as soon but it's also an edge swap now what it does is if you're looking at the cube this way it brings this piece here this piece here and this piece here it doesn't affect this at all so that's exactly what I need to do this is the yellow red piece and this yellow red piece needs to go here this yellow orange piece needs to go all the way in the back and by extension this yellow green piece will go here which is where we want it to be so this is the set of movements that you want to do to switch three edges bring your right face up move the top face clockwise bring the right face down move the top face clockwise bring the right face up spin the top face clockwise twice bring the right face back down and turn the top face counter or clockwise twice again. Now you can see that we have all four solved. Now what can happen is sometimes you'll have um let's see will that do anything. Okay. You'll have none solved sometimes. At this point you can do this soon on any face that you want and you will get one edge solved out of these three period guarantee no questions asked um, and I'll show you on I'll, I'll just show you on one face I mean I it doesn't even matter I'll just choose red because I mean it, it honestly does not matter so you want to do a soon here so you want to do right face up top clockwise right face down top clockwise, right face up, top face clockwise twice, right face down, top clockwise clockwise twice. You can see that we solved this red edge piece. Now, what you want to do now is since you have these three unsolved, you want to do soon. You want to get your solved piece and you're on the left side of the cube and you want to do the soon. Now, you'll be able to tell how many times you need to do this soon by where these pieces are. If this piece, this piece will move here. If that's not, if the rest of, if that is not in the right place, you need to do this algorithm twice. So, we need to do a soon again. So here, right face up, top clockwise, right face down, top clockwise, right face up, top face clockwise twice, right face down, top face cl clockwise twice. Now again, I told you this is not solved, so we need to do it again. Same set of movements, same orientation. This is solved and it's on our left. So you go right face up, top face clockwise, right face down, top face clockwise, right face up, top face clockwise twice, right face down, top face clockwise twice. So now we have all four edges totally solved. Everything is in the right place except we have these nasty little corners that don't like to be in their place. 